So our next topic is why stethoscope cleaning fails, the cleaning challenges between patients in high workflow environments. And the point here is there's not any study that demonstrates effective cleaning practices. The idea that the doctor will clean harder has not panned out. And in every study ever done, we lose. And so we do surveys where they say they clean 50% of the time, but the reality is that when we culture those cleaned, so-called clean stethoscopes, they're not really clean, they're full of bugs. So pressuring them to clean more hasn't worked. Cleaning, when they say they clean more, it doesn't work. We, we really been at a loss. And so Cindy, in your um, work as a patient safety officer, why do you think we've done so badly with stethoscope hygiene? What we've learned is that we need to measure things and we need to set it up in a standard process and that is exactly how you improve things. If you can't measure it, you can't fix it. I've seen a multitude of different ways that people go about cleaning their stethoscopes if they clean them at all. But I can tell you, having recently worked in a um, COVID unit with the outbreak in a skilled nursing facility, it was beyond catastrophic. And, and you really do realize how badly people need to know what it is that they need to do, let alone have the processes in place. There's a reason why we have the hand sanitizer at the door and the gloves next to it. There's a reason why we tell patients and their family members to remind us to wash our hands. And we need to include those kind of practices with the stethoscope because it is the third hand and it does need to have that kind of um, high level um, attention to it. Sanjay, you're infectious disease. Yeah. I, What's I, your I, thought on that? Yeah, I'm saying you've nailed it right there as an infection control folks on a daily basis when you're looking at hand washing and to the point that everybody believes they do it. And how do they do it? Do you just put alcohol and you're done? Or you do it for full 30 seconds? Do you have running water for 15 seconds? You'll do this. And then same thing with uh, stethoscopes. Some people don't do it and they believe they do it. I don't know if that is some cognitive disconnect there because we are so busy, we believe we always do it. That's one thing. The other part is even with stethoscopes, I'm saying, like you mentioned, you clean it for a minute. You ask the other person, oh, I do it for five seconds. It's just like this. Uh, somebody does it for one minute. Somebody uses regular alcohol. Somebody is using those uh, sodium hypochlorite ones and they damage the stethoscopes. I've seen some doctors who are so meticulous being at a cancer hospital. We are very, very meticulous actually in terms of everything. So you'll see this guy wiping this and I said, your hands are going to get hurt, number one. And number two, your stethoscope is getting damaged. Uh, but obviously we are watching out for our patients. And you know, it has to be a smarter way. Uh, it doesn't have to be that way, and in a way which is measurable. So at least if you have a technology where you can see it is done, yes or no, and it's a standardized fashion, everybody does it the same way, then you can measure it. And if it is effective in preventing that barrier touching somebody, let's say in my case, immunocompromised patients, I want that as much as possible. The other thing is I think we can't forget what we brought up, what, what you mentioned actually previously is just by using the alcohol swab, we're not actually getting rid of all the bugs and infections that are there. You're so absolutely right. It is, so it we're is, pushing them off to the side. We are, exactly. Well, and, and it does nothing for C. diff. It, it exactly. Just, there'll be 22,000 people projected to die of C. diff in 2021. So from a quality improvement perspective, we, should, we, need, to be, we need to be optimizing that aspect of it, right? And just pushing it off is not getting us where we need and, to and go. And you know, most of the stethoscopes now have the diaphragm and the bell conjoined together. So there's an area between, there's a, there's a crevice between the two and you're not gonna get the bugs out of there with, uh, with alcohol wipe. Sure. It's just, it, it, it just doesn't happen. So you have to uh, have to do better.